I'm going to do random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you're new to this version, there is a link in the video description below to a lesson playlist with the fundamentals. You could also download this quick reference. In here is the scoring, and on the back are instructions for how to play the game. For this exercise, we're going to say there is a three fawn minimum. A fawn is a scoring element, and there's a value associated to fawn. For three fawn, that equates to eight points. So you have to have eight points to qualify to win. So we'll do some random pulls, identify the strength in the hand, and come up with a plan to get those eight points. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, starting with East Round. We'll roll these dice to determine which player we are. I rolled a six, so we're going to be player two. This just keeps the variables fresh. It's not actually part of the game. Each player sits at a side on the table. Player one, two, three, four. So since I rolled a six, one, two, three, four, five, six, we're player two. Player two is also known as South. So let's get 13 random tiles and we'll practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. We have two flowers. We are player two. We have a two flower and a three flower. So we'll get a fawn for this flower. This one, no value. So we have a fawn already. We only need to come up with two fawn here. Here's our replacement tiles. So we have two dots, two bams, six cracks including a pair, and then we have a south and a pair of west winds. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? Three fawn minimum. If these were my tiles, I would play a half flush. All cracks with winds and dragons if we draw them. We could pung here. Of course, we'd need to pair up here, but we have a chow right there. One, two, three. We also have a potential pung. I would probably break this up and use that three with the four. Here's a potential chow. One, two, three. Potential chow. Two, three, four, or three, four, five. Potential Pung, Potential Pung. Pung is three of a kind. Chow is three in a sequence. Chow, Chow, Pung, Pung, Pair. Get rid of these, and we have one suit with winds and dragons, and or dragons. That, those are called honors. So we would have what's called a half flush, and that is three fawn. Oh, and plus we have our own flower, four fawn. So this would clearly meet the minimum with that plan. Half flush, break up this chow. That way we could have one, two, three blocks instead of this one, this one, or this one. One, two, three. Of course, the pair here could be a pung. And then all we need to do is pair up four blocks and a pair. South round. I rolled a nine. Eight, nine. We're going to be player one, also known as East, and we will get 14 tiles.
no flowers. No flowers is a fawn, but the minute you draw a fawn, a fawn. The minute you draw a flower, that fawn goes away. We have two dots, four bams, seven cracks, and a single wind. We are in east seat and it is south round. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If this were my hand, I would cringe a little because I probably would try for a half flush, meaning we would have six discards. We are starting with an extra tile. I probably would discard the one. Here's why. I would keep these for potential chows. We already have a chow there, potential chow. There's a potential chow. There's a chow right there and a pair. So we actually have a hand that is one away from ready, but it's a chow hand, one fawn, no flowers, one fawn. That's only two fawn. If there's a three fawn minimum, we don't have enough score. So we need to come up with more score. We have one pair and mixed suits. In order to get to three fawn, that's where the half flush comes in. If we draw lots of cracks, full flush. Full flush would be six fawn. So I would keep these and discard this. If we draw a south in time, we could pung. That would be one fawn and then no flowers would be two we're still in the same predicament. Unless we self pick. Self pick is a fawn. That's risky though. I don't think I would do that. I think I would go for a half flush. We could pung, chow. Let's see here. Chow, 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 one, two, three drawing cracks or winds and dragons. I would definitely start by discarding here and see what comes in. But having mixed suits with a three fawn minimum is a rough start because this all chow is not enough score and only one valued honor too. This is a rough start here and you really can't count on that no flower fawn. Because if you draw, let's see, we are player one. If you draw a two, three, or four, you lose that fawn and you don't replace it with a valued flower. We would need a one flower in order to just stay the same with one fawn. And there's only two, two flowers per seat. I wouldn't count on that no flower fawn. I'd go for a half flush or full flush and just get rid of these. Long road to haul. West round. I rolled a 10, eight, nine, 10 is south. No flowers, that's a fawn. We have four bams, six dots, two cracks, single honor, a south. It's west round and we're in south seat. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, we could try all chow self-pick. 
That's a long shot though. One, two, three, four. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I think if we were to go with all chow, self pick, no flowers, this is how I would play it. I would try to chow, chow, pear, chow, chow, or pear, pear here, chow, chow, chow. We're short. We would have one, two, three, four. We're short. So really, I think I would use this five as my pair because here we can chow, chow, there's a pair, chow, chow, discard. So I would discard these and see about a self pick. Now that is risky because you never know if you're going to have the right tiles for self picks. The game is going on. Players are discarding and exposing tiles your tiles might go down while you're waiting to self pick a winning hand. So another plan would be, we have two pair. Another plan would be half flesh, long haul there. Half flesh would be six or three fawn. We would have six discards. Maybe hold the pair in case we pair up for all Pung. We only have two pair though. Discard these. That would be a safer bet because we could ch chow here, Pung here, chow here, and then just draw more dots and honors, which are winds and dragons, and try to get to a half flush. That would be two plans, but you'd have to make that decision right away because if we were to use these as chows, we'd have to commit to it right away because we would have to discard some tiles like the South primarily. All chow self pick. Risky plan. North round. I rolled an eight, so we're going to be player four. Thirteen tiles. We've got a number four flower. That's our flower because we're in seat four. Four bams, three cracks, two dots, four single honors. Honors are winds and dragons, any combination. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If this were my starting hand, I would go for a half flush with BAMs. Maybe throw the dots first, because we only have a one tile difference. If we draw a crack, we'll have equal opportunity, depending on the tile. Here we have a potential chow and a potential pung. Here we have all isolated tiles, so I'd probably sacrifice those and go for a half flush hope to pair up to pung these honors and just hoard bams for a half flesh. Half flesh is three fawn. 
these are all valued honors. A valued honor is where you can get score for pungs of these tiles. Any pung of dragons is worth a fawn. Your seat wind or the wind of the round is worth a fawn. We're in north round and we're in north seat. So if we get a pung of this, three of a kind, we'll get two fawn for that. One for each. So I would hold all these and go for a half flush. When you play at a table with a three fawn minimum, you will have a little more time to build a hand than if you're playing at a table with a zero fawn minimum. But don't delay. Still plan for the quickest win possible. Two quick paths to a three fawn hand is either a half flush or all pung, all three of a kind. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.